In this video, I'm going to go through the brand new submission system in UFC 5. I'll explain step by step what you need to do to submit your opponents with examples. Also, bear in mind that I'm using legacy grappling controls rather than grapple assist. It's a bit more difficult to get used to, but it gives you way more options on the ground, so I'd strongly recommend you use Legacy too. So there's actually two steps to submitting your opponent in UFC 5. Step 1 is actually to start the submission. So how do you do that? Well, when you're on the ground, hold L2 on PlayStation, or LT on Xbox, and it will show you the submissions that are currently available for you to use. So here I can use the armbar or the arm triangle from top mount. The submissions that are available depend on what position you're in on the ground, but also what fighter you're using. So, like Charles Oliveira is going to have way more advanced submission options than, say, Sean Strickland. So, let's select the armbar here by holding L2 and moving the right stick to the right. This puts us in the setup position for the armbar, and this is basically where step 2 starts. You have a couple of options here. You can transition to backside, which is another dominant position, or you can select armbar again to try and finish the submission and submit your opponent. Let's do that and see what happens. So you can see that Gaethje didn't tap out, and you can also see his submission health bar here has gone down. To actually make an opponent tap, you need to empty that submission bar completely. The way to do this is either by getting the stamina advantage or by chaining multiple submissions together. In particular, I'm gonna talk about getting the stamina advantage because I think this is more important. So you can see if I try this exact same submission when Gaethje has no stamina, he taps. So the amount of damage you do to that submission health bar depends on the stamina advantage you have. And the way to deplete your opponent's stamina on the ground is by denying their transitions when they try and move. So when you're in the setup position for any submission, your opponent can only transition either left or right to escape that position. So whether you have them in position for a triangle choke, a kimura, an armbar, it doesn't matter which submission, they can only move left or right to escape which means to deny that transition, you need to press either R2 right stick left or R2 right stick right. So now on screen, I'm gonna show the animations you need to look out for in the different common submission setup positions and which way you need to deny to stop them from getting out. And you can just come back to this part of the video if you ever forget which way to deny. Generally though, just deny in the direction that they move their body in. If you need a full intro to denying transitions, then check out my last video for a tutorial with examples, uh, and then you'll understand what to do with the information on screen. So to recap the entire process, when you're on the ground, hold L2 and select the submission with the right stick. Once in the setup position, you need to try and get the stamina advantage by denying their transitions as they try and escape. You do this by holding R2 and denying either left or right. Once you have the stamina advantage, select the submission again to try and finish the submission. Now, obviously this is in the training arena against the bot, so in a real fight, it's not gonna be that clean and easy. It might take you two or three submission attempts to fully empty their submission health bar, but just remember, you need to get the stamina advantage to do real damage. Now let me show you a real example in an online fight. I'm playing as Colby Covington, and we're already in round three of the fight. You can see my opponent's stamina is way lower than mine at this stage of the fight, which already puts him in danger. I managed to rock him with an uppercut, take him down straight away, deny his attempt at transitioning out, and then I go straight in for the Kimura because his stamina is completely finished. And you can see that the submission bar empties out pretty much immediately, and he taps. So here's another example where my opponent Justin Gaethje actually puts me in a submission, but it does almost no damage to my submission health because his stamina is just so much lower than mine. Later in the fight, I'm on top in side control. I deny a few transitions to deplete his stamina and go in for a choke. And then again, he taps because I have a massive stamina advantage. That's everything for this video. Like and subscribe if you found it helpful and if you want to see more quick and easy guides for UFC 5. Waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized.